Today we will talk about the histology of liver. In the human body, the liver is situated here. Now if we take the liver and cut a section, and take a section, we will see some hexagonal lobes in the liver. Each hexagon of the liver is called lobule, the liver lobules. If we look into one lobule, the hexagonal structure, we will see at the center of the lobule, the central vein. And at the corners of the lobules, there are present hepatic portal vein, hepatic artery, and bile duct. These three are called hepatic triad and these hepatic triads are present almost in all the corners of the lobules. These are called the hepatic triads. The hepatic portal vein, the hepatic artery and the bile duct forming the hepatic triad. Now we will look into what these things are. First starting with the hepatic portal vein. The esophagus, the stomach and the intestine present. Now if we take these organs and look separately the liver the stomach and a section of small and large intestine the heart and the organ spleen. Now, a blood vessel coming from the heart with oxygen, that is oxygenated blood, will come to the organs, stomach, intestine and spleen to supply oxygen to these organs. So after giving oxygen to these organs, the blood vessels will have less oxygen in them, thus called deoxygenated blood, as the oxygen has been supplied to the organs. But during this process, the nutrients from the food that is being digested in the stomach and the intestine will be absorbed in the blood vessels. Oxygen giving to the organs and nutrients are absorbed in the blood vessel from the stomach and the intestine where the food is digested. Now the leaving vessel that is the deoxygenated blood vessel with nutrient rich blood will go into the liver and this vessel is called the hepatic portal vein the hepatic portal vein will enter the liver So the hepatic portal vein is done. Now coming to the hepatic artery. There is one more blood vessel coming from the heart with oxygenated blood will enter the liver to supply oxygen to the liver cells. That is called hepatic artery. Now coming to the bile duct. 
the liver and the gallbladder is present below the liver the bile is stored in the gallbladder now the gallbladder have its connection or vessels surrounding the liver cells these form the gallbladder vessels or bile ducts now the blood vessels both the hepatic artery and hepatic portal vein will run through the hepatic sites or hepatic cells and meet the central vein during the passage it will form a longer passage for diffusion of nutrients and oxygen to the cells of the liver and the longer passage will give more opportunity to the cells to receive the nutrients and oxygen and these channels or the capillaries are called sinusoids or hepatic sinusoids the bile duct will also form its processes throughout the cells of the liver and these are the hepatocytes present the passage between the sinusoids hepatocytes are cells of liver and these are the process of the bile duct it runs throughout the hepatocytes and these are called the bile canaliculi all the hepatocytes present now let's look into the flow of the blood and the bile in detail the hepatic portal vein bringing the nutrient rich blood going through the sinusoids and meeting the central vein the sinusoids are capillaries with lots of fenestra fenestra are pores between the cells of the capillaries through these pores the nutrients can easily pass and reach the cells of the liver and the cells or the hepatocytes adjacent to the sinusoids have some microvilli towards the sinusoids the hepatic artery bringing the oxygenated blood will also form the sinusoids and transfer the oxygen to the cells and will eventually meet the hepatic portal vein and form the common sinusoids and all the blood will run towards the central vein next the bile duct will have its branches throughout the hepatocytes and these are called the bile canaliculi this will run throughout the hepatocytes and the hepatocytes will release the bile into the bile canaliculi and the bile will be transported towards the bile duct the transportation of bile is opposite to the direction of the transportation of the blood 
blood goes towards the central vein and bile goes the opposite direction. There are some special macrophages present in liver. These cells are called Kuffer cells or Kuffer cells. These cells are situated at the lining of the sinusoids. These have some elongated nuclei and the hepatocytes have round nuclei. The Kuffer cells or macrophages of liver helps in destruction of the pathogens coming with the blood in the liver. Now these three bile duct, hepatic artery and hepatic portal vein form the hepatic triad. The blood in from the central vein will run through the hepatic vein and will reach the heart for reoxygenation. The liver is mainly divided into two parts, the right and the left lobe. The right lobe for bile canaliculi will form the right hepatic duct and in the left, left hepatic duct, they will meet and form common hepatic duct. The gallbladder and the duct of gallbladder is called the cystic duct. The cystic duct will meet with the common hepatic duct and form common bile duct and it will run towards the duodenum. And here the pancreas is also present. And this is the pancreatic duct. The pancreatic duct will meet with the common bile duct. And the junction of bile duct and pancreatic duct is called ampulla of butter or hepatopancreatic ampulla. And both the secretion of bile and pancreas will be released in the duodenum.